Great morning, my amazing students. I want to welcome you all to this online teaching and learning process. Our subject today that we are going to look at is geography. And today's topic, we are going to look at Nigeria world population. Now, this is the map of Nigeria that contains all the 36 states in Nigeria. So, Nigeria is blessed with 36 states, including the federal territory, which is the capital of Nigeria. If you look at this map of Nigeria, you can see that the northern region is located at this side of the map. At this side is the middle bed, and at this side is the northern region. From this side to this side, we'll be looking at the east of region. And from this side, we'll be looking at the western region of the country. Now, you can see this is Sokoto, Kastina, Jigawa, Yubi, Brunu. This is Kano, this is Zampara, this is Kedi, this is Kaduna, this is Bauchi, this is Gumbi, this is Adamawa. All this aspect from this place to this place is the northern region of the country. But looking at this place, Niger, we have F City, we have Nasarawa Plateau, we have Taraba, we have um, um, Kogi, we have Bende. All those things are middle beds. Did you understand what I'm saying? But looking forward to Oyo, Kwara, Osho, Ejiti, Undo, Edo, Osho, and Lagos, all those types are the ones, the western part of the country. And we also have the Enugu, Ebony, Adamawa, Cross River, Imo, all those places are both combination of south and eastern region of Nigeria. Not knowing all the parts of uh, all the parts of states in the map of Nigeria, let's move straightly to the definition of what population. What is population? As you can see, you see that population can be defined as the number of people living in an area at a particular time, at a particular world time. So once you hear about population, you know that population is the total number of people living in a geographical environment living together in the, in the decent settlement. We refer that place as what? Populated environment. So now, Nigeria is the most populous country in Africa with a population of over 150 million people. That is the statistics of 2006. In 2006, density population was carried out and the total number of Nigerians in 2006 is 150 million people. And that was, that is, that is the reason why Nigeria remains the most populous uh, country in West Africa and also the most fourth populous country in all over the world. Uh, let's move straightly to the concept of population. That is population con uh, uh, concept. It's also regarded as the types of population. So population concept is divided into three. Number one, we have overpopulation. Number two, we have underpopulation. And number three, we have optimal population. What is overpopulation? For example, this is a situation whereby a country has more than people than its physical and human resources can accommodate. Here, the population exceeds the available resources of the country. Now, this overpopulation in most countries is one of the most greatest factors that is affecting many disasters in many countries in all over the world today. Because when the total number of people exceed their valuable resources or their valuable uh, uh, resources or their valuable natural phenomena in a particular environment, it affects them. It affects them. One, hunger striking and so many others will make a uh, move for the country at the same point in time. Then we have underpopulation, which is the most greatest population types or the most greatest population cons uh, concepts. The reason is because now is that a country has few people that eat physical and human resources. That is the total number of people is not even exceeding their valuable resources. The total number of people is below their valuable resources at the same point in time. If you proceed, you can say here yeah, the population is lesser than their valuable resources of the country. That means the population or the total number of people is below their valuable resources. There is adequate of water, there is adequate of uh, food, which is farm product, there is also adequate of other secondary proceed, uh, you know, resources that is almost everyone, that, that is almost up to every, you know, citizens of that country at the same point in time. 
Then we have the last one, which is the optimum population. And what is optimum population? This one is a rebalance between the number of people and at the same time with their valuable resources. And that is the reason why we say that it is neither too small nor great. That is its optimum, its equilibrium level between the number of people and also their valuable what, resources. But, but when combined with their valuable resources and giving the level of exceeding technology secured a maximum return per head, this also gave us an maximum explanation that optimal population is a strike of real balance between the total number of people and the available world resources. Now, we are going straight to population density. What is population density? This refers to the number of persons per square kilometer of land. The population density of a country can be expressed mathematically as total population, which is the total number of people living in that geographical area, is equal to population density, which is the square kilometer by a land all over total population multiplied by total land area. Now, this population density is very, very important. The reason why it's very important is because it brought us to it brought us a wide knowledge on how our world, our land are being what measured. From there, there, knows, there, there, there is a statistic that carried out in 2006 that Niger State is the most populated density uh, state in Nigeria. Why? Because they have the largest land, uh, largest land mass. So now, if you look at the formula which we are going to use to calculate population density, is that total population, that is the total population of that environment, is equal to population density all about total population. Then you now multiply it by the total land world area. Let's move strictly to the example of population density. Now, the question says that calculate the population density of Nigeria having a total population of 88,514,501 with a total land area of 923,768 square kilometer. Now, this is how the calculation will be carried out. The total population is what? The total population here is what? 88,514,501. That is the total population. And our formula says total population is equal to population density all over total world population. What is our population density? Our population density is the land area, which is what? 923,768 square kilometer which is over here. Then, now, what will happen is that population density now will be equal to total population all over land area, which is written all over here clearly. Then we now move it to say, when you divide this by this, it will give you what? 96 what? Person. Are you getting it now? So our population density is what? 96 person by what? By kilometer square. Did you understand now? So that means in each of our land area, each of our kilometer square, there is total population of what? 96 people. Did you understand what I'm saying? And that is what uh, uh, population density is all about. We are going to stop here. When next we come in class, we'll continue from where we stop. Please don't forget to read your book and stay safe.